Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Maxxis DHR and Asagai combo. This might be the most versatile enduro tire ever. Let's get into it. This is one of my favorite tire combinations. I have been using the downhill casing version of both these tires and in the Max Grip compound. Max is the grippiest rubber compound. I have been using the Asagai in the front and the DHR2 in the rear. The Asagai is Max's grippiest tire available and was designed with none other than the GOAT himself, Greg Minar. It is designed to be a good all-round tire, which works well in all conditions. It is a 2.5 inch wide tire and sits between the Max's Minion DHF and Shorty and Max's tire lineup. The DHR2 is a rear specific tire, which is designed with great braking traction and is 2.4 inches wide. However, it also works well as a front tire. Before I get into the on-trail performance, let's talk about setup. I have been running these tires tubeless with no inserts. They are quite easy to set up tubeless and you should be able to get them to pop onto the bead without a compressor. I find that Max's tires are some of the easiest tires to get tubeless, but this is also rim dependent. I've been running 27 psi in the front in the Asagai and 29 psi in the rear for the DHR2. The Asagai is Max's grippiest tire and you can tell. This tire hooks up. However, it is slow rolling, but this is not super noticeable if you only run it on the front. There are small knobs between the center and corner knobs, which make this tire extremely predictable. There is no dead zone of grip when leaning the bike in, which makes it great for flat corners. It sheds mud very well, but is also great on hard pack and loose dry conditions. This is why I believe it is one of the most versatile tires out there, especially when paired with the DHR2 in the rear. To get the most out of the Asagai, I would recommend it in the Max Grip Compound. If you are a rider that prioritizes descending, this is the tire for you. The Minion DHR2 is designed to be a rear specific tire, but it works well in the front too. I have been running it only in the rear. It has ramp center knobs which allow for a faster rolling tire, but still provides great braking traction. This tire offers a great mix of traction and rolling speed. It is still a slow rolling tire, but great for the enduro rider. It does not shed mud as well as the Asagai, but still works well in intermediate conditions. It excels in dry, hard packed terrain. It is a very versatile tire and a go-to for descending focused riders. The Maxxis Asagai and DHR2 tire combination might be the most versatile tire combination available. The Asagai on the front provides insane grip and the faster rolling DHR2 makes pedaling more efficient. As well, this setup works well in all conditions except for extreme mud. I have been using this setup here in Nanaimo since September and they still have plenty of life left. They have been handling the wet winter conditions extremely well and have been amazing in the bone dry summer conditions. There is a reason why this setup is common on many Enduro World Series racers bikes. How do they compare? Well, compared to the Michelin DH34, the Asuka and DHR2 are noticeably lighter, making climbing much better. They do not offer quite the same level of grip, but they last three to four times longer. This is barely noticeable, and most people will benefit from the longer lifetime. The Maxxis Asuka and Minion DHR2 are for someone who is looking for an aggressive tire setup that is extremely versatile. They are a great tire combo for the Enduro rider who is looking for something that can be pedaled around all day, but also offers no compromise grip on the descents. Thanks for watching. Let me know what other tires I should review in the comments below.